All right, well, let's get started. Turn left at the stop sign, then turn right. Good morning, Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. I'm here on a, another uh, epic sunrise search at uh, Eisenhower State Park. I'm in a little fishing pier that's, uh, that's in the park. Um, it's, uh, it's an interesting little spot, There's some rocky formations. Uh, kind of waiting to see what the sunrise brings. I don't think it's gonna be uh, spectacular. It's a lot of overcast, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a little drizzle right now. But uh, anyway, my I, I'd been to this location before, and I thought I'd come back down and uh, I'd give it another chance. I, last time I was here, there was a lot of humidity, and uh, I was kind of passing by, and my uh, you know I didn't have a lot of time, so I was kind of rushed. And but uh, anyway, um, I'm, I was really uh, interested in the uh, kind of the the rock formations. Let's see what kind of composition I could I could put together with that. But the uh, water here is very clear too, so I'm thinking about trying to capture like uh, a little bit of the foreground, the rocky foreground uh, in the water as kind of a, a lead into the into the image. So, and we'll see what today brings, you know. But uh, you know, like any uh, landscape excursion, it truly doesn't matter. Uh, you know, although I like to capture a great image, but uh, just being out and enjoying myself is uh, what it's all about. I gotta say, even though I've been to this location before, I'm still struggling to find a composition. I've got some interesting rocks in the foreground. Uh, it might be okay, but uh, yeah, sometimes, um, sometimes you really struggle to find a comp. But uh, let's keep looking around. I got a little little time before sunrise. So, okay. Having been to this location before is, uh, is definitely uh, an advantage. At least I have an idea of what I want to accomplish. Uh, as a landscape photographer, you know, you, you typically try to try to think ahead and, and have an idea. You know, have this conceptualized idea of this uh, image that I want to capture. And uh, of course, all the conditions have to come together to to make that happen. You know, I, I took a uh, captured an image a couple days ago, and I. You know, I really wasn't thinking it was uh, going to be all all great, but uh, you know when I got back in post processing, it was better than I expected. 
Uh, and the, I was pretty happy with the composition overall. So, uh, yeah, one never knows what uh, what kind of weather you're going to get or what what conditions are are uh, are, are going to unveil themselves. So, the only way you know is get out and shoot. You know, sometimes when I'm out here waiting for the light, your mind starts to wonder and you think about a lot of things. And you know, I was thinking, does the world need another um, forest background, rocky lake scene? You know, and then I realized, it just occurred to me, no two images are ever the same. No matter how hard you try to replicate someone else's image or an image that you've taken in the past, you just can't do it. And I, I think that is truly one of the most amazing things about landscape photography is the changing scenery. This place is a different place compared to the last time I was here. Different environment altogether. And, uh, you know, I've, I went back to locations like this many times to uh, in an attempt to capture uh, that, that perfect image that one that I, I had in mind that conceptualized image and um, you know some locations I'm still waiting to go back and get that so but uh, but nevertheless you know nothing ventured nothing gained but um, if you don't get out and you don't uh, you don't put forth the effort you're never gonna know. Well, I got about 30 minutes to sunrise. I'm pretty confident that sky is uh, not going to brighten up any, so I'm not going to have any color. It's overcast. There's a slight mist I was kind of hoping would develop. Um, a good misty, you know, scene is hard to beat so uh, but I don't think that's going to materialize either but uh, you know I think I'm I'm enjoying the morning having some coffee I think I'll hang out a little bit and maybe capture an image maybe not but uh, about an hour drive out here wasn't wasn't too bad very quiet right now I really enjoy the quiet So my, uh, my composition is, is kind of simple. A uh, couple, uh, couple leading rocks right here in the foreground and kind of leading out across the lake uh, to the opposite, or to the uh, bluffs over there. Yeah, I'm really trying to capture, bring in this, I'm gonna go wide on this, bring in this rock here in the foreground, these uh, these boulders here. And I'm thinking about kind of anchoring this one over here to kind of bring some balance into the composition. Well, like I said, that sky is definitely not, uh, it's not working for me, so. But nevertheless, I, and there's some interesting elements to this composition, so I, I think I'm gonna capture the image regardless. So it's kind of a, uh, uh, it's got a mystic look to it, a calm mystic look. Uh, 
All right, I got some gear over there. I got to move and police the scene, so. <clears throat> you know, I, uh, I do like a, a depth of field calculator. I do use it. I use it quite a bit, actually. I think the advantage of it is kind of getting an idea of where you're at in focus. I mean, for this scene at 14 millimeters, the hyperfocal distance is about two feet. So theoretically, if you focus two feet in, everything from one foot from the foreground to infinity will be in acceptable focus. And basically acceptable focus is like viewing a, uh, an eight by 10 print uh, at a normal kind of distance as, you, as if you were looking at it at the wall, on the wall. And, and it looks sharp. And so, <clears throat> of course, when you're, you know, you're really zooming in on the computer and you're gonna see that uh, it's not quite perfect. So sometimes you, stacking images, focus stacking is a, is a good thing. I've got the camera down very low. Uh, to eliminate any distortion in the forest and uh, I'm gonna try to really smooth out that water with about a 40 second exposure we'll see how it goes well, I ended up uh, at about right at a minute on the exposure at f11 ISO 64 um, I'm waiting on it to uh, finish processing in the camera I like the long exposure noise reduction on in my camera. Not too bad, uh, looks sharp. And uh, well within on the histogram. I think I'll call it a day. I had a little mist roll in and I think it's really working for the mood of the image. It's really kind of a, a mystic uh, moody image. So uh, I, I kind of like it, at least on the back of the camera. But you really don't know until you get back uh, on the computer and really take a look at it and see see what it truly does uh, look like and if it's truly what what I'm seeing out here right now so um, well uh, oh I did use a um, polarizer a circular polarizer on this to kind of just take the glare off of the water and hopefully have a little bit more transparency and kind of see through down to the uh, to the rocks on the on the bottom so I always think that adds a little something to an image like this. Well, anyway, I'm uh, really going this time, and uh, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget, give me a thumbs up uh, if you like the video, and um, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Hopefully, I get a little bit better uh, at this. I I am still new to YouTube, so uh, uh, but I'm excited about it. It's it's kind of coming along better than I thought it would. So. Um, Anyway, follow me and I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Bye.